Okay, just going to briefly talk to you about my 12 volt setup. Um, that is my fuse box there, um, which uh, is powered from the ledger battery below. Um, that thicker cable, this one here, is um, obviously coming from the positive terminal on the ledger battery. So if I come down, it is this one here, and it goes through to the fuse. So there is a fuse, if you can see that, just about to see it. Um, there is a, a blade fuse in there, and then it connects to the positive terminal just over there. Um, so yeah, it comes all the way up into that. Um, and then those connections on the side, which are labeled, but you can't really see them. Um, they go through to the switch panel, which is at the front. Um, one is for my lights. One is for the water pump for the um, sink, and then next one um, was a spare. In fact, so was the fourth one a spare. So I've got a couple of spares sitting there ready to go. Um, <clears throat> just a word of warning when you do connect all of this up, get it all connected, and then put the fuses in here separately at the end afterwards. Um, otherwise, you may have some issues. But yeah, just uh, connect them all in afterwards. Uh, if I go around to the switch panel. Okay, so here's the switch panel. Um, the, I did take some, obviously all the units are in and stuff now, so you can't really see the back of it. Um, I did take some photos, etc., which um, I may be able to kind of throw into this video um, if I can find them. Um, but it kind of just shows you the wiring coming into the back of it. Uh, but it's, it's, it's fairly simple and there's a pretty good, if you get it from these guys, uh, switch panel, the UK. Um, guys are brilliant, really helpful. Um, he will send you like a little um, diagram on how to connect things up. <coughs> to be fair, I mean it's quite simple, but it's it's quite helpful if you quite a, if you're a bit of a novice. I mean I'm not great with electrics, and I've kind of learned all the stuff on my own. Um, but having that, um, in fact, here it is here. Um, so yeah, that is obviously uh, the fuse box, which. Uh, then feeds through to the um, back of the switch panel, which obviously is back of that. Uh, let me just turn the lighting on, it's a bit dark in here. Okay, so <clears throat> you can see there's, well, for each sort of uh, switch, there's a positive and a negative to uh, an earthing bar, bus bar, whatever you call them, um, which I have one on the back of this unit, just about there. And that kind of earths everything. If you literally just follow this uh, diagram, it's it's really simple. And once you start looking at it, if 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 you don't know too much about electrics, and once you start looking at it, you're like, oh my god, I'm so confused. But it's, it slowly starts to to uh, to make sense, and at the end of it, you're like, why was I even worried? So um, have a go if you if you are worried about it. But just have a go. It's it's, it's quite easy, especially with the 12 volt stuff. And in fact, I thought the 240 was going to be more complicated and a bit more tricky. That I, th I thought that was a bit easier than doing the 12, 12 volt stuff just because there's so much more cables with the with the 12 volt but yeah this it's quite simple stuff really. <clears throat> if I come to the front of the switch panel um, that was obviously my lights so I've just turned that back on. Uh, there are my lights up there. Um, so that's for that. I'll leave that on. Uh, the next one was the pump for the uh, for the sink for the tap, uh, which is just through here. Uh, it's a bit messy in there, so just ignore that. But you can hear it turn on. You can hear that noise. Obviously, it's no water coming through. It's empty at the minute, um, which everything is down in that cupboard there. I'll just shut that again. Um, and then uh, everything else is sort of uh, spare and extra when I need it. Um, guys at uh, switchpanel.co.uk can also engrave, so this is all engraved, it's not stick, uh, stickers on, um, can engrave each switch so if you know what you want, so if you want to write lights on there etc um, just let them know beforehand um, and obviously you've got your fault meter as well so it tells you what your ledger batteries are doing um, which is really handy. USB ports and cigarette lighters. Uh, so you can't use these unless you are hooked up 
uh, off of the back of this, which I've done on a separate video. I've spurred another plug socket from here all the way down to the back of this for my fridge, which is over there. My fridge is not 12 volt, it is 240, so that's the way I preferred it. Um, mind you, if you had a 12 volt, it would be a lot easier, I suppose, but uh, that's, that's kind of the way I wanted it. Where are you?